Hello everyone, you're welcome to solve this nice exponential equation here, which is 2 to the power of square root of 200. This is equal to a to the power of a. So what is the value of a? Now let's provide a solution from here. So we have 2 to the power of square root of 200. This is equal to a to the power of a. Now, we can express the square root of 200 as 2 to the power of, now this is the same thing as 100 multiplied by 2. This is equal to a to the power of a. Now, we have that the square root of 100 times 2. This is in the form of square root of a multiplied by b, which we can express as individual square root of a times square root of b. Applying this property, then here we have 2 to the power of square root of 100 times square root of 2. This is equal to a to the power of a. Now the next step is that we have 2 to the power of square root of 100. This is 10 multiplied by square root of 2. This is equal to a to the power of a. Now the next step is that if you have the square root of a raised to the power of 2, this is the same thing as a. So we can express 2 as square root of 2 to the power of 2. This is the same thing as 2. Now let's substitute 2 with square root of 2 to the power of 2. So that now we have square root of 2 raised to the power of 2. Then raised to the power of 10 square root of 2. 2. So this is equal to a to the power of a. Now this implies that here we have the square root of 2 raised to the power of 2 raised to the power of 10 to the square root of 2. This is in the form of a to the power of n raised to the power of m, which we can express as a to the power of n times m. Applying this exponent property, then we have square root of 2 raised to the power of 2 times 10, square root of 2, then this is equal to a raised to the power of a. And therefore, we have square root of 2 raised to the power of 2 times 10 here, so this is 20, square root of 2, this is equal to a to the power of a. The next step is that we can express 20. 20 is the same thing as 4 multiplied by 5. So we have square root of 2 raised to the power of 4 multiplied by 5 square root of 2. This is equal to a to the power of a. Now we can express square root of 2 to the power of 4 times 5 square root of 2 as this is the same thing as a square root of 2 raised to the power of 5 then raised to the power of 4 square root of 2. This is equal to a raised to the power of a. Now we have a to the power of a. This is equal to square root of 2 to the power of 5 raised to the power of 4 square root of 2. Now we have that square root of 2 raised to the power of 5. This is the same thing as square root of 2 times 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 square root of 2. Now this means that square root of 2 times square root of 2 here, this is the same thing as square root of 2 raised to the power of 2, then multiplying by, here we have square root of 2 times square root of 2, so this is the same thing as square root of 2 raised to the power of 2, then times square root of 2. So let's eliminate the square root sign here, so that we have 2 times the same thing here, we have 2 times 2, then multiplying by square root of 2. So this is 2 times 2, it is 4, square root of 2. Now this implies that we can substitute square root of 2 to the power of 5 as 4 square root of 2. So we have a to the power of a, this is equal to 4 square root of 2 raised to the power of 4 square root of 2. Now, 
we can make some comparison here. If we check the base here and the exponent is the same, if we check the base here and the exponent of the power is the same. So this means that a is equal to 4 square root of 2. Now this is the solution to this exponential problem. This is the solution. The value of a is 4 square root of 2. The next step from here is to verify that this value of a satisfies the equation. Now let's verify. We have that a to the power of a, this is equal to 2 raised to the power of square root of 200. Now let's substitute a here. We have 4 square root of 2 raised to the power of 4 square root of 2. This is equal to 2 to the power of square root of 200. We can express 4. This is the same thing as 2 to the power of 2. And we can express square root of 2. This is the same thing as 2 to the power of a half. So that now we have 2 to the power of 2 times 2 to the power of a half raised to the power of 4 square root of 2. This is equal to 2 to the power of square root of 200. Now, 2 to the power of 2 times 2 to the power of a half. This is in the form of a to the power of n times a to the power of m, which you can express as a to the power of n plus m. Applying this exponent property, then we have 2 to the power of 2 plus a half, everything here, raised to the power of 4 square root of 2. And this is supposed to be equal to 2 raised to the power of square root of 200. Now, 2 to the power of 2 plus a half, this is the same thing as 2, to the power of 5 over 2, raised to the power of 4 square root of 2. This is supposed to be equal to 2 to the power of square root of 200. So, let's simplify here. 4 divided by 2, this is 2. So, we have here 2 to the power of 5, raised to the power of 2 square root of 2. This is supposed to be equal to 2 raised to the power of square root of 200. Now, this is in the form of a to the power of n raised to the power of m, which we can express as a to the power of n multiplied by m. And this implies that here we have 2 to the power of 5 times 2. This is 10 square root of 2. This is supposed to be equal to 2 to the power of square root of 200. The next step is that we can express 10. This is the same thing as square root of 100. So we have 2 to the power of square root of 100 multiplied by square root of 2. This should be equal to 2 to the power of square root of 200. And we have that 2 to the power of square root of 100 times square root of 2. This is in the form of a. That is square root of a times square root of b, which we can express as square root of a times b. So we have here, on the left hand side, we have 2 to the power of square root of 100 times 2, which is 200. And this is equal to 2 to the power of square root of 200. This implies that the left add side is equal to the right add side. And this verifies that the value of a, which is 4 square root of 2, satisfies the equation. So kindly follow the steps. Like this video and kindly subscribe. Please like this video and kindly subscribe. See you in the next video. Thank you for watching.